In the centre of the Royalist line, General Pigafetta opens fire with his batteries on the militia on the far side of the Brie Run. The enemy guns return fire from the central top, but both sides are at long range and the effect is limited. Pigafetta has four divisions under his command. In the north, one of Gamelos' divisions is subordinated to his command. They are to cross the Brie Run and attack the hill from the north. Another two stretch down to the village of Rakletohof, with the last division in the rear as a reserve. The corps moves up to the road and settles down to blast the enemy militia from long range. About midday, a message arrives from Camembert to report that the left wing of the army has had great success, driving off the enemy militia, and Pigafetta determines that it is time to advance. On his right, Gamelos' second division crosses the Brie Run and begins attacking enemy light troops in the Centrum Wood. This attack takes about an hour to prosecute, and while the Loyalist lights are driven out of the wood, most of the division is disrupted in the attack, and two brigades are lost when a unit of Loyalist guards comes down from the central top and attacks furiously. Two more brigades are lost in an attack on the hill. They manage to overwhelm a Loyalist artillery battery, before being forced back and destroyed by another unit of guards. This division is exhausted and will take hours to rally and restore order from inside the woods. They'll see more action later in the day, on the right flank. In the centre, Pigafetta's divisions move up to the edge of the Brie Run and exchange volleys with the Loyalist militia. At the northern end of the line, the militia quickly break and fall back, but the southern part of the line do much better than their counterparts, and the Loyalist militia here exchange steady volleys with their Royalist opposition for what seems like hours. Indeed, an attack into Rakletohof is repulsed furiously, and it will be Camembert's corps on the left that will finally take the village. At 2 o'clock, the second division attack on the hill is repulsed, with the Loyalist guards charging down and driving in the Royalist lines, causing panic and confusion. The guards will break three units, before being halted by fierce artillery fire and disintegrating. Now Pigafetta sends forward the reserve division to break the stubborn enemy line of militia. There is much shooting and fighting and splashing over the creek. The reserve division makes progress. The militia eventually break and are pushed back, and the Royalist guards are launched at the second line, the Loyalist regulars. This attack fails, and the reserve division is mostly wrecked and will play little part in the rest of the battle. By three o'clock, two of Pigafetta's divisions have rallied and recovered enough to renew their advance. They will move forward in concert with Camembert's attack on the left, but Flavisham still holds the central top, though now with only one battery and one guards unit. On the Royalist right flank, in the north, Baron Gamelost leads his corps forward to occupy Lower Mass. He is opposed by the Countess Panella, commanding the cavalry division. The Countess is outnumbered, but uses her superior mobility to slow the advance of the infantry, delaying the Baron's crossing of the Brie Run. There are a number of skirmishes, but by 1pm all of the Royalists have crossed the stream and preparing to advance south around the Centrum Woods and into the rear of Flavisham's position. But sufficient time has passed that Count Rostopki's corps has arrived on the field and is deploying into line. The Baron is uncertain of the enemy's strength opposing him and begins falling back towards Lower Mass. Penella pursues, hoping to engage the Baron to keep him from escaping before Rostopki can come up in full strength. Just before three o'clock, as Camembert's heavy cavalry is performing amazing deeds on the southern flank, Gamelos' cavalry charges out from his own lines to engage Penella. Two brigades of heavy cavalry charge the Loyalist cavalry. There is swirling melee and much blowing of bugles, but in the end the Loyalists keep the field, breaking the Royalist cav and forcing them to retire behind their own lines. Enthused by this success, a brigade of light cavalry is sent dashing into the nearby guns, but are halted by terrible close-range artillery and musketry. The lights are shattered and rout from the field. Penella falls back to recover her division, but now, at 3pm, Gudarian arrives. His guards division is massing in two fetters, and a decision must be made as to where they are to be committed. To the centre and right to reinforce Flavisham, or to the north to assist Rostopki and Penella destroy Gamelost. <laughs>